Christy, that was wonderful. And our next award recipient is Angela J. Nakarato. She's the founder of Intuitive Vancouver, a company that empowers people to develop their intuition as a resource and a source of inspiration for creative writing. Her poetry has been published in journals and commemorative anthologies throughout Canada and the U.S. She has hosted a number of poetry readings throughout Metro Vancouver. She is also the founder of the Vancouver High Q Group, a group in its fifth year. She lives in Port Coquitlam. Please welcome Angela. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first of all, I'd like to just thank Ushuk for asking me to participate in the celebration today. As most of you said up here at the podium uh, today, it's just a real honor to be here. Um, I think um, we could say that there's a lot of cultural and artistic diversity in the room today. And as a facilitator of the Vancouver Haiku Group, and last name like Nakarado, you'd think maybe I'd be married to a Japanese fellow. <laughs> but um, no, he's purebred Italian. And uh, thank you for being here today. I think what attracts me to the haiku genre is its simplicity and minimalistic form. And I'm going to recite just a couple of poems this afternoon. I won't hold you captive, as each of them are only about 12 to 15 syllables. So, Birds. So many birds. Daylight. Birds. So many birds. Daylight. The rise and fall of breath. Ocean tide. The rise and fall of breath. Ocean tide. And the last haiku that I'll recite this afternoon uh, was inspired by a ginkgo, um, a ginkgo walk last Sunday at Kamei Royal a Japanese restaurant in Vancouver. In a booth with nine friends, Freshwater eel. In a booth with nine friends. Freshwater eel. Thank you. Thank you. 